Square Roots is an urban farming accelerator based out of Bed-Stuy. Currently there are 10 entrepreneurs working to manage 10 shipping containers that are retrofitted with vertical farming technology hydroponics, which is one of the easiest ways to reduce water usage and work very efficiently with materials in difficult spaces in urban areas. The mission of Square Roots is to train the next generation of farmers who are probably going to be working in a landscape, growing food for people in an increasingly urban setting. More and more people are moving to cities and also demanding healthy, fresh food. So the combination of those two things creates a really interesting niche for food entrepreneurs. You know, when you're growing fresh produce in the heart of the city and bringing that to people. That's a much more sustainable way of feeding people and a much more personal experience to, to kind of interact with your food and know your farmer, know where your food comes from. We can create almost 40 pounds of food a week and upwards of 60 pounds if, depending on the variety and we use only 10 gallons of water a day which is pretty incredible. So the system is actually quite simple, yet complicated at the same time, but we recycle the water in a loop and we have it in the main tank in the back over there. And it comes up through the farm and drips down through all the towers, which allows the plants to grow. The Square Roots farms have all kinds of fans and monitors inside the farm to keep it at a regular temperature, to cycle the air constantly through the leaves so there's no mold, um, to take humidity out of the air and put it back into the tank after it's run through a filter. So there's, it's kind of a, an automated kind of robot. An important thing to consider if you're growing food in an urban setting is space. I mean, it's expensive to have any square footage in this city, so we want to make use of as much square footage as possible. Basically, you'll plant seeds in a tray, keep them in a seedling area for until they're big enough to move into the towers, which is essentially like the farm. Like if you think of the rows you would see in a field where all of the greens are growing, that's what that is, except they're all vertical. So we pick plants that don't weigh too much necessarily, that they, they can maintain a kind of lift and not just get too heavy for themselves and start to grow down, as you might think of like bigger vegetable plants. So the lighting actually supplies most of the heat as well as the light for photosynthesis for the plants. We use LED strips that hang that have two colors of light There are some very, just off the bat, really wonderful benefits of growing so locally is that you don't have to worry about shipping your food. You're not planning to. You're going to cut it and then bring it immediately to who's eating it. I was just at Betaworks studio in the, in the meatpacking district in Manhattan and I just like had harvested this morning some produce for their employees there and brought it right to them with our Farm to Local program. I bring greens to a restaurant on the East End. I'll harvest immediately before bringing the greens to them. The greens will last about three weeks in the fridge. No one's used to that. If you're getting your greens from California, which you probably are, they'll melt if you open the box within like two days. The greens are so crisp and have such flavor that you don't even need dressing. So oftentimes people will just eat them out right out of the bag like a bag of chips. I love the community of farmers. It's just been so interesting and inspiring to see how each person has developed the concept of their business, which it doesn't feel like there's competition necessarily between who, you know, who our markets are, because we're all approaching different markets in a different way. The possibilities of innovation and um, finding those niches are just seem so endless, which is really great.